Curtis, thanks for taking some time with us and welcome to New Jersey. Thank you. We hear from your scouting report, your defensive first forward who can slot in anywhere. He's not afraid to throw a hit. Who is Curtis Lazar away from hockey? Probably, honestly, the complete opposite. You know, I, I'm a dad, uh, you know, a husband, uh, just this overall family man. I'm, you know, I'm pretty easy going. Um, again, just, I just like to have fun. So to come here with the Devils, you know, a young team and stuff, it's, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm looking forward to building those relationships and getting to know the city too with my family. You grew up in British Columbia. You played hockey in Canada where it's a lifeblood. How did you go from junior hockey player to being drafted in the NHL? Yeah, again, like you said, I mean, you, you play hockey in Canada, you, you're pretty religious about it. Uh, I happened to uh, know at an early age that I, I had a pretty good knack for it. And like you said, I'm defensive first now, but back in the day, I could put the puck in the net. So uh, growing up, I landed in a great spot playing junior with the Edmonton Oil Kings. Uh, and, and just from there, I mean, you're, you're set up to succeed, you, you get drafted, and your mindset says, you know, you're make the NHL, do whatever it takes, and, and that's kind of allowed me the opportunity to, to get here. And again, I'm, I'm never satisfied. You keep on going until you win a Stanley Cup, and even when you do that, you just you want to do it again. How do you want to still grow as a player? You want to win the Stanley Cup. What's next? Yeah, I, I think for a guy like myself, it's almost the, kind of like that specialist role. Um, you know, those intangibles and the small detail work, I guess, that goes a long way. So you don't always get the recognition for, you know, blocking a shot or making a hit or taking a hit even. But uh, just those areas, you know, clean up on the face offs. So you come here and you look at what Mikey McLeod's been able to do. And so I'm picking his brain a little bit and stuff like that. But as you get older and you said you move around a bit, then you want to have more of an impact on the, the younger guys, kind of, you know, help them develop and grow as, you know, people and players. So overall, I mean, like you said, you're, you're always learning because the game each day and each year it's evolving. Back in 2013, you were in this building being drafted 17th overall. What stands out to you about that experience? Uh, I mean, just the overall excitement. Uh, I was, you know, fortunate to be in a pretty good spot knowing that I was going to get picked in the first round. So it, it was a whirlwind of a day. Uh, and, and just to have my family and, and friends around and just really just celebrate, you know, the small victories in life. I mean, my, my parents and, you know, my siblings, have their, they sacrificed so much to allow me to get to that point. So that was a big day that you said you, you look back and you can't help but reflect when you're back in this building. So now to call this uh, the building my home rank, it's, it's pretty special. It's one thing to make the NHL, it's another to stay in it. What are some of the challenges you've learned throughout your career to be sitting here today in your ninth professional hockey season? Yeah, I mean, like, like we touched on, it's, you know, it's not being satisfied, trying to grow your game. Uh, again, you're, I was a first round pick, I was probably slotted to score goals. Um, as my role kind of altered, I said, you know, instead of, you know, put up a fuss about not scoring, not getting those opportunities, said, what can I do to be effective and what will make me valuable throughout the league? Uh, and, and that, like I said, is the kind of that grinder workman type mentality, but uh, it's landed me in some pretty special spots. So to, to start the season in Vancouver and then get targeted by a team like the Devils that are making a strong playoff push, uh, it's, it's special because you know, they, they value what I bring and, and hopefully I can uh, you know, be effective for them. You have several connections with the Devils, Eric Halla and his family, Dougie Hamilton, but there's a coach on this staff who also had a giant impact on you. How did Chris Taylor impact your career to get you to this point today? Yeah, Tails, uh, you know, we, we go back to, I guess, our time with the Rochester Americans together. Uh, and for myself, like, you know, we talk about the career, and you have your ups and downs. So I, I had to reestablish my game in the American League a little bit, and my time with Tails was outstanding. You know, he pushed me every single day, and, and especially that, you know, you have a few years of it, the NHL experience under your belt. It's pretty easy to kind of get down and think, you know, I, I might not ever make it back to, to the big leagues. Um, but he, his work with me each and every day and that relationship was awesome. You know, he pushed me. Uh, you know, we, we didn't always agree on things, which I think I, I appreciate now too, and especially being back around him, is knowing that he has my best interests at heart and he really did push me. So to be here, bounce off a few things and also catch up, it's, it's been a lot of fun. You're part of an organization, like you said, is up and coming, has a push for the playoffs. Now that you're here in New Jersey, what are your first impressions of being a part of the Devils? I, I mean, it's the overall just kind of uh, enthusiasm that this team has. Like you said, they're so young, but they're so talented, and, and they expect so much out of themselves and each other. It's, it's awesome to see. I mean, and that's what winning teams do with, the, you know, the solid cultures. It's, you know, not being content with just winning one game. It says, okay, we win one. Let's focus on this next one. And kind of that snowball effect just keeps on rolling. So to, to see that, you know, the kind of the work ethic on a day-to-day -day basis is special, uh, but also how much fun they have. I mean, I'm, I'm 28 years old, but uh, being around these guys, I feel like I'm breaking the league again. So it's been awesome and, and then just overall the the city as well I mean the the fans they're they're rallying behind the Devils because they know that this team's special so uh hopping on that ice it's uh it's always fun knowing that they got your back Curtis we're excited for this next chapter for you and thank you for some time yeah, thanks for having me